Now today's uh, menu is quite uh, interesting and also quite challenging. Okay, as you know, um, this workshop okay, organized by City Guests is a little bit different from the ones that okay, you, you see every day. Why? Because we have a theme uh, based on this. So we have done a few other colors ahead and um, today's uh, color as you can see is basically purple. Okay, the, the western dish that we are cooking today is uh, actually uh, pork chops okay, with balsa. Um, with braised uh, red cabbage, all right. Um, the other recipe that we are doing, which is Asian theme, it's uh, our black glutinous rice porridge, pulo hitam. Call it a New York dessert, call it a Malay dessert, doesn't matter, all right. Um, it's something that most of us would see in most uh, dessert shops, stalls. It's often served warm, and um, it's it's actually a no-brainer dessert. Okay, you need to make sure that your porridge has got a nice texture and uh, a silky glossy appearance all right give it a rinse okay another thing that always, always people get confused is do i need to pre-soak the rice for plo itam you don't need to soak the rice at all you can just cook it straight okay after you have rinsed the rice together okay in the pot okay another mistake that most people make when doing plo itam is to throw the pandan leaf right at the beginning not every herb or flavor ingredient that you throw into the pot is, is uh, able to last for a long time the, uh, um, in, the, the, in terms of flavor and aroma. We're going to cook this up together with the onions. Okay, and usually when you have add the cabbage, huh? the butter, oh, roughly about um, 20 to 30 grams. So we're going to add some liquid to it. Uh, we have red wine vinegar, all right, and then okay. Anyway, it's a good thing that that you put it in right at the end because it will help to liven up. Uh, marinate, okay, for the pork chops. We will need salt, okay, and uh, black pepper. All friendly with recipe. So when dressing our sauce together with mustard, yeah, uh, they always refer to Dijon mustard. Rosemary. So what we do is that we mix everything into a paste. It's the cut from the pork loin. It's whether you know how to cook or not. All right. The difference between cooking pork chops Western style and Chinese style. Okay, for Western style, it is a skill to cook the meat just nice. Okay, serve it a little dollop of the cranberry jam on the side. You can still put a little bit of meat juice. Just a little bit of pepper just to contrast the black. Okay, so this is our first dish for today. Let me just show you the second one. So you just put the irregular pieces around it. More red beans if you like. <laughs> 